In today's video, I show you how to install and configure Magic Mirror. Magic Mirror is an open source, modular, smart mirror package that displays digital information on a two-way glass surface, creating the illusion that the information is floating in the mirror. Magic Mirrors can be used to display a variety of information, including weather updates, news, social media feeds, calendar reminders, train departures, Spotify now playing, live wait times, random words from a dictionary, and all kinds of other things. Let's get Magic Mirror set up. Before we get started, if you haven't signed up for the newsletter yet, I'll leave a link below. It's a monthly publication with unraid news, written out guides, and more. Sign up now so you don't miss out. On to Magic Mirror. First of all, why would you want Magic Mirror on your unraid server? Why not just a Raspberry Pi? Well, I wanted to install more than one Magic Mirror in my home and figured it'd be easier to set up one backend and have them all share the information over multiple mirrors. It's way easier to manage. Plus, I can do it from the comfort of my desk. I wasn't able to find a Magic Mirror template within Unraid. So, you know, if you go to apps and you search for Magic Mirror, there's nothing in there. Nothing found. So I did some research, dug around the internet a bit, and found that there is a repository out there for Unraid. But it's got some issues with it. So I figured I'd record a video, show you what I did how to you know, fix those issues just to make it a, easier to install if, if you come across it or if you wanted to install it. So since there's no you know, application already out there, we're gonna need to set up our own custom Docker template. And we're gonna be using one from Osborne M GitHub repository. I'll leave a link in the description so you can just go grab that. First thing we're gonna need to do is open up our terminal window. Since we're gonna need a few commands from that GitHub repository, let's go ahead and go there first. All right, first thing, scroll down here a little bit. So Unraid Magic Mirror Docker container so under installation here, you'll find this boot path here. This is where the templates are for your Docker. So let's go ahead and just select the copy option there. We're gonna go back to our Unraid server and we're gonna to go to the terminal. So over on the right here, we're gonna click on the terminal icon. When that opens up, we're gonna type CD, then a space. So we're changing directories and then we're gonna paste in that information and we'll press enter. Now that we're in that location, let's do an LS to make sure we're actually in the right location. And yes, there's all of our Docker templates. So that's good. So next we're going to need to use a text editor to create the My Magic Mirror XML file. I like to use Nano, so I'm going to use that. If you're familiar with, you know, Vi or something else, you can use whatever you'd like, but if not, just you know, follow along. So for Nano, we're going to type N-A-N-O, a space, and the name of our file, which is going to be my dash capital M magic capital M again, mirror dot XML. So it's going to be Nano space and then my dash magicmirror.xml, and then both M's on Magic Mirror are capitalized. The reason being is that in the GitHub repository, that's what the Osborne M guy used, I'm assuming a guy, and we're gonna keep it the same because it refers to that file. So that's that. Once you have that, go ahead and hit enter, and it opens up the nano text editor. We need to go back to the repository and grab the file contents. So I'm gonna move my text editor window off so I can get back to it. If you only have one screen, then you can just, you know, minimize and you'll find it and, and get it back. But anyhow, back to GitHub. So the My Magic Mirror XML file is up here. If we scroll up, it's, you know, the, what, fourth file down. So if you click onto that, it opens it up. Over on the right-hand side, next to where the word raw is the copy option. So you can copy the raw file. Hit that. It copied all this information here. We're going to go back to our Unraid server, which, you know, the window's gone. But like I said, I drug it off so I could find it. All right, so in here, we're gonna just right click and paste in that contents from the XML file. And normally this would be all you need to do is just save and exit and you've got your template created. However, there's a couple issues in here that I thought I'd you know, bring to your attention and get them fixed now so you don't have to deal with it later. So down in this file, if you look, you've got host directory, you've got it there and down here. And then it says, you know, slash MNT slash cache, a normal install that's gonna be user slash user for both of these. Now you can leave it, and when you go to create the container, you can change it at that point in the GUI, but I figured if you're gonna do it, you might as well do it now, because if you install this later on, and you've already got the, the template there, you might not remember that you need to change it. So let's just go up there now and change those. I'm gonna use the up arrows, and then go over, delete out that word, and type in user. Same thing with the second option down here. We'll get rid of cache, change it to user. They should now both read slash MNT slash user slash app data slash, you know, whatever the rest of it is. And both of them do. And normally, once again, you could just save this and you'd be good. However, there's another issue I found. 
down at the bottom down here. I don't know why that jumped to the top, but let's go down here and under web UI near the bottom, it says HTTP colon forward slash forward slash IP, you know, port number and then port number. It's all commands for putting the web GUI option within the, in the container. However, IP is incorrect. It has to be capital I and capital P. So let's take care of that now and change that lowercase I to a capital I. So you should have capital I, P, and then the rest of it's the same. So you're good. That should be it. So now we're going to exit out. And if you're first time using nano, the commands are at the bottom down here. So the little carrot there is for control. So hold down control and hit X and that's exit. Then it says there's modifications that have been done here. Do you want to save them? And you hit Y to save it. And then it wants to know the file name. Or if you're not going to change the file name, which we don't, we want to overwrite it. So just hit enter. And there you go. File's been written. Now let's just make sure it's there. So I'm going to do ls again, and we'll look in our list here and we should see my dash magic mirror.xml right there. All right. So we're good there. So let's type exit to get out of that terminal window. And back on our server here, we need to now go to Docker. And at the bottom, we're going to click on add container. And under template, where it says select a template, now we can drop down and we will find our magic mirror listed there. And if you don't for yours, just hit F5 and refresh and it'll show up. All right, so there's our template. And you'll see the name is listed there, the repository, you know, the network's fine, all that stuff is you know, normal stuff. The host port one is you know defaulted to 8099. Let's see if that's available. I'm gonna scroll down and do show Docker allocations. We'll double click on the 8099, hit control F. It shows one instance, so we're good. The app data, this is the field that I said we could have updated in the GUI here, which you could change it here, but we don't have to now. It's all it's all set. Same thing there. So we're good. All we got to do now is just go down and hit apply. Wait for it to install, and then we'll click done. But while that's installing, I want to let you know that the Discord server is up and running. Come join us. I'll leave a link in the description. All right, that's all done. It only took, yeah, two minutes maybe. Not very long at all. All right, normally what I do now is to go up to auto start, turn that on. And then under Magic Mirror, you'd click on the icon and then click Magic Mirror. And you'll notice on my system here, it's just got a question mark for the icon. That means it doesn't have an icon. It can't find it. In the template, it refers to an SVG file, which is a Safari you know, video file. So if your system doesn't have it, doesn't recognize it, then I uh, took a minute and created an icon, made a PNG file, put it on my server, and I'll leave a link in the description for it. And I'll show you how to change that real quick. So what we're going to do to fix that is click on the Magic Mirror text, not the icon. And that'll edit the container. So in the top right corner, we're going to change it from basic to advanced. We're going to look and find the icon URL field here, which is down here. And you'll notice that if you go over, you'll see that's this mirror SVG file. It's not working for us. So I'm just going to delete all that out and I'm going to paste in my location. And like I said, it's in the description and you notice the web UI below. We could have fixed that IP thing here too, as well. But like I said, it's a, a temporary fix, but if we do it in the template, then it's, it's just done. We don't have to worry about it anymore. All right. That's all you need to do. So just scroll down and hit apply and then done. And now when it loads back up, you'll notice the mirror icon is there. So now if we click on the mirror icon and then go over to web UI, you'll see it loads up. And since it's been running for a minute, it's went and you know got the calendar dates and uh, it's got the different news feeds and that kind of stuff already in there now. So at this point, you just need to go in there and add modules and, and that kind of stuff to, to get it fully set up to your system and how you'd like it. And on that note, if you're getting some value from this video, do me a favor and hit that like button and subscribe while you're down there. So now, like I said, you just got to go, go add your modules and, and set it up. While I won't be going into details and setting up modules as it's, you know, beyond the scope of this video, there's, it's kind of a big deal. I thought I'd at least show you where they can be accessed at. So to get there, we're going to minimize this window here. And as you can tell in Magic Mirror, you can't see the mouse pointer. I'm wiggling around right now. If you go to the very top, you'll see it up there. So we can just close that out. So I'm going to go to my server. I'm going to open up my file explorer and there you know, I just browsed to my server here. So your IP address and another forward slash, we're going to go to app data. If you look down that list, you'll find Magic Mirror. Go ahead and open that. And then the config is there and then the modules. The modules is where you'll go into it. Go into the default option here. These are different modules that are in there. If you want to you know, go in and modify the weather, this is where you do it at. And like I said, this is beyond the scope of this video. I'm just showing you how to install it. But it's up and running. If you want to go play with it, add modules, do whatever. This will be the basis to get you going. So there you go. It's all set up. So now if you want to have multiple magic mirrors throughout your home, you just set up a Raspberry Pi like you normally would, just a regular you know, browser window, you have it, pull it up, and then they're all synced, they're all the same. It's kind of nice. 
What do you think of the Magic Mirror? you have any use for it? Let me know in the comments. If you've already got one set up, let me know what modules you have on it. It'd be nice to know what other people are using. If you found this video helpful, check out one of these next. And I'll see you in the next one.